Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a pressure reducing valve. A pressure reducing valve usually is placed in the front of the house where the water comes into the house from the street. It is usually put right before the first hose bib. Its function is to reduce the water pressure that is coming into the house in an adjustable manner. First, fill a bucket with water and make sure you have a fire extinguisher on hand. Now, turn the water off at the street. I will be installing a Wilkins 70 series pressure reducing valve. This particular one has double unions. That is, each of the ends has a union that screws onto a standard three-quarter inch male fitting. Each union has a rubber washer. Drain out as much water as you can out of the lines. Calculate where on the pipe you would like to put your pressure reducing valve. Make your cut on the bottom of the pipe. This Wilkins pressure reducing valve requires the second cut to be made about six and a half inches above the first one. This is a rigid pipe cutter. Tighten the cutter with each revolution until the pipe cuts. Sand both ends of the pipe. I like to use OD abrasive open mesh and the four in one wire brush tool to sand the copper pipes until they are shiny. This is a very important step, so do a really good job of sanding. Now, use a 3 quarter inch wire brush to clean out the insides of the fittings. Here, I'm using a cutoff brush in my cordless screw gun to do the sanding quickly. Use a good quality flux on the ends of the pipe and inside the fittings. Solder the fittings onto the ends of the pipes. For this model, you will need five inches of clearance between the ends of the fittings. Put Teflon tape on the threads of both fittings. Thread the bottom union onto the fitting. A good pair of adjustable pliers will tighten the union securely. Tighten the upper union onto the fitting as well. It is wise to use a second wrench to avoid any possible twisting. Place the pressure reducing valve with the arrow pointing in the direction of water flow. Place the rubber washers in place. Tighten the nuts of the unions. It is important to tighten them securely so that you don't get leaks but do not over tighten them so that you avoid damaging the washers. Turn the water back on and check for leaks. The pressure reducing valve comes preset from the factory at 50 PSI. If you would like more water pressure, it is recommended to not exceed 75 PSI. To adjust the PSI, First, loosen the lock nut. To increase the water pressure, tighten the bolt in clockwise. To reduce the water pressure, loosen the bolt in a counterclockwise fashion. I'll demonstrate the increasing and decreasing of water pressure on this Watts pressure reducing valve that I installed recently. Put the water pressure gauge on the faucet securely. Turn the faucet fully on. The new rating is 79 PSI. Now I'll screw the bolt out counterclockwise one more full turn and once again run some water to set the new PSI. The gauge now reads 76 PSI. I'll screw the bolt out clockwise one more full turn and draw some more water. The gauge now reads 66 PSI. Now, let's unscrew the bolt another full turn, draw some water, and take our reading with the gauge. It now reads 61 PSI. One more full 
counterclockwise turn of the pressure regulator bolt and another water draw brings us to 57 PSI. One more full turn, another water draw and another reading with the gauge gives us 55 PSI. Another counterclockwise turn gives us 48 PSI and two more full counterclockwise turns gives us 39 PSI. This is much too low for a house water pressure. I have just done this for demonstration purposes. Now let's turn the bolt clockwise for full turns. After the water draw, we see that the gauge reads 59 PSI. Two more full turns clockwise and a water draw will give us 65 PSI. Now let's try for the goal of 72 PSI. I'll turn the bolt one and a half turns clockwise and do another water draw. This gives us 72 PSI. Because we need to get water to some fruit trees on a hill behind the house and because the residents like hard showers, 72 PSI has been our goal. Your perfect water pressure may be a different number, but this is the technique you will need to use to adjust your water pressure so that it is just right for you and your needs. In my video description, I'll put links for the Rainbird Water Pressure Gauge, the Wilkins 70 Series Pressure Reducing Valve, the Vice Grips 10 inch adjustable pliers, for a 10 pack of rubber hose washers, for the Watts all brass three quarter inch pressure reducing valve, and for the Vice Grips adjustable wrench set. Thank you. I hope this video was of help.